So I went on a road trip this week and I ate tons of snacks, tons of treats, and I didn't gain weight, I didn't count my calories, and I didn't exercise once this week. How did I do this? Honestly, it's not really a secret. I'm gonna tell it to you right now. The key is not tracking how much you're eating. The key is understanding what you're eating and how that food impacts your body. Now, everybody's gonna get mad and say, no, it's about calories. And I'll say, well, that's not what I've done for the last 10 years, and I lost 50 pounds, and I've maintained it. And I have things like desserts, chip, crackers, drinks, all that kind of stuff almost every day and I never gain weight from it. I never have to fit it into my calories or kill myself in the gym to keep it off. It's about understanding what the food does to your body. Everybody's looking at how much you're eating, but nobody quite understands what that food actually does to your body. Certain foods cause major imbalance in the body, like hormones, blood sugars, low-grade inflammation. They cause toxins, and what people don't understand is those four things that I just named are some of the biggest issues of why your body is gonna wanna store fat. Sure, if you're overeating on even healthy food over time will you gain weight yeah potentially but you might not depending on what you're eating and what it does to your body but if you can not overeat all the time you don't have to count calories or fit it in you can still enjoy these things and not kill yourself in the gym therefore making it so you don't gain weight is easy so i have these cookies that are kind of like oreos from a brand called simple mills these ones are taste a little bit like an oreo they also have these peanut butter ones or like nut butters or nutter butters whatever those things are called boulder canyon potato chips cooked in avocado oil or coconut oil because they're less inflammatory simple mills brand that has some crackers hue is a brand that makes chocolate super good chocolate i don't have any with me right here but they make cookies as well i had some more cookies these are from a company called fresh melissa and it's a local utah company i'm sure you could probably order online but uh no bake almond butter cookies super good and then i also have some sodas here this is from a brand called olipop they got all sorts of different kinds of flavors and the cool thing about all of these products that I'm showing you have less added sugar, which is less inflammatory, doesn't spike your blood sugar as much. They're toxic free. There's no chemicals in any of these things. And they use things like cashew flour and coconut sugar and baking soda, vanilla, carrot fiber, real food ingredients that don't harm the body. Like if you were to compare this to the alternative version, which is full of just junk and processed foods that are gonna spike your blood sugar more, cause major imbalance in your body, major imbalance with your hormones, therefore contributing to you gaining weight easier. So instead of focusing on how much you're eating, start focusing on what you're eating and looking for real food ingredients like some of these products I've showed you. And there's so many more. You can buy almost all of these at health food stores, Costco, a lot of your local grocery stores will have these types of things even in the airport there's all sorts of kinds of things you can do if you understand the label and what that food specifically does to you